Okay, welcome to Jack of All Trades. Today we're going to discuss the compatibility issue. Uh, if you run the wireless G700 Logitech mouse and the K800 highlighted keyboard, which is also wireless, they both use the unified receivers. Each one has its own receiver for its USB port. Um, the latest drivers have been giving me problems. What happens is, you see you exit a program, all of a sudden you'll see something like that on the desktop highlighted and then you go to click on your mouse and these don't hunt highlight until you shut the power off on your mouse and turn it back on so you get pretty erratic behavior or if you're in a browser you'll click on a link and then up here it'll open up a whole bunch of different other links so your mouse and your keyboard or you start to type on your keyboard and you end up with like different letters and your capitals are, are not capital it's some pretty FTP erratic server. behavior and these are all the old drivers listed in the uh, server now when you first install your mouse it's going to update it automatically it's not going to give you this option so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to 360 drivers uh, where are they uh, 630 drivers sorry <coughs> I have X64 Windows 7 so I click on that one here, click on customize because my Logitech is going to bother this crap out of you to update. Uh, this here, Logitech mouse and keyboard, Just press that there, press OK because you don't want to update by accident and then you know you'll end up with the crappy drivers so you'll never see another update come up in the corner there. Okay, let's show you what the difference is. As covered in my other videos, I've you've seen this this uh, interface. The new interface is a black screen with a mouse like that. It's three dimensional, and you got options to click on mouses here. This is the older one. This is the one you want to use, and I'll show you the reason why. And if you all, if you load up the new drivers and you've got them, then watch this carefully, and you'll understand. Buttons. Click on the generic button now. When you program your buttons in the new driver, you're missing half these options. They don't tell you that, but this one here, document flip, uh, look, looks something like this. That's the document flip option. That option is gone. You cannot do that on your button on the new driver. Um, also, the one that opens up the program, launch program. That's the one, remember when I used the HS taskbar video to hide the taskbar, which would be something like this. Hide the taskbar, show it. So I just thought that this video might be informative for the, for the users that run the G700 or the K800 keyboard and have driver problems and issues with erratic behavior. You can also do another thing, you can also take the battery out of the mouse press on all the mouse buttons until it resets the capacitors in the mouse and I put the mouse battery back in and that might help do that with the keyboard as well but uh... I've had zero problems with the software until it updated and all of a sudden you know just this is, this is bizarre I was going to throw it in the garbage but I figured going back to those drivers fixed it so any of you guys uh... any of you guys have uh... this issue uh... This is how you fix it. So, thanks for watching Jack of All Trades. Please subscribe, leave a comment. Look for more videos to come in the future. Have a good night.